there are just basic physiological differences between XX and XY that people don't really assimilate and understand. And the way I like to say it is you go into a shop and you have a men's section and a women's section, and there are touch points on the external that really identify gender and or sex. But when you look intrinsically, no one is identifying those touch points until now. Women, by and large, tend to not have these larger artery blockages, but their blockages are diffuse and microvascular deeper into the heart muscle, which is why we present with a heart attack much differently than a man does. And those, we're not teaching our, you know, we're not educating our clinicians as to these differences. Women are considered to have atypical chest pain, right? 51% of the population is female. Why are why is my heart attack atypical right. and a man's typical? It makes sense that if we have a population with XX chromosomes, a population with XY, genetically and the way exp we express those genes are differently. But I think we miss the fact that down to a cellular level, every cell from an XX is expresses these tissue changes, tissue manifestations differently than an XY. So down to a cellular level, we express our genes differently. It should be no mystery to us or anybody else that there are differences. And yet there is the propensity just to lump us all in the same basket and almost say, I almost sometimes feel as pejorative to say, oh, the women are different. Of course they're different. We're genetically different. Down to every cell in our body. Every cell. So it should be no surprise to anybody, but it, it seems to be a seems surprise. Seems to be a surprise all, yeah. all the time. You get pushed back all the time. There's no difference. Yes, there is. There is. And it's not just and me it's not saying.